Hey guys, so we're back with another video. This time we'll be talking about the Diamond League in Paris th today that just kicked off a couple of hours ago. Now, once there comes a time in track and field that we just got to look past all the craziness and just thank God for the era that we had. If you are a person that grew up in the 2000s seeing Alice and Felix, Usain Bolt take their first Olympics all the way up to seeing them like retire. Like to me, arguably, Alice and Felix and Usain Bolt, as well as Shelly and Fraser Price, which you will see part of the video, is arguably one of the best athletes of all time. Like these athletes have proven themselves time and time again that they they leave leap everyone above the rest when it was time for Usain Bolt as well as Allison Felix to retire who recently retired last year at the Oregon World Championship um, it was such a bittersweet to see a closing chapter on these two great athletes that shook in the track and field world from 400 to 200 to 100 to 4x1 to world record we've seen it all we've seen these two prominent figures as well as Shelly Ann Fraser who is still currently running still and I think that she said that she's planning on retiring soon by next year at the Olympics that will make her five Olympics but Shelly Ann has already kind of put herself above the rest already by winning five world championship titles I believe and you will hear this first I believe the day Shelly Ann decides to really put on her craziness on which we haven't seen her run yet I think her first race of 2023 even though it's gonna be a late start due to some personal issues she's dealing with she might open up with a 1060 or 1061 which I will be not even surprised because she has proven time and time again that she when it counts she do, she's there along with some of the other greats like Elaine Thompson Hira and the great Sherika Jackson who is the second fastest 200 meter of all time now these athletes alone sits in a different atmosphere than everybody else but moving forward to what happened did today in the last three weeks of track and field from what I was hearing because like you guys know I've been covering the bleach anime I made sure I didn't look at anything I promise but upon me looking at the LA Grand Prix as well as the well, what's going on currently right now I've seen something that I have to talk about and tonight we will definitely get that as well as the Bleach anime which I will be covering episode 3 and 4 first. I'm just so proud of all my track athletes. Um, like I said some that are returning some that are new and I think that's a healthier thing for track and field sport that you see veterans and new veterans or retiring veterans are making a lasting impression on the track and field sport. Now, from what I'm seeing, Terrence Laird, Polino, from the um, the recap, we will talk about that as well. Definitely something to look out for, as well as today, which was the Paris Diamond League, which we will give a lot to talk about from the men's 100 meters, which I think there was such a big surprise on that. I thought this person would never show up, but they did, and sadly they lost and I'm not that surprised um, also like I've been saying I am loving the Shikari Richardson from what I heard she kind of pulled out from the Grand Prix for the final but she still ran a 1090 um, which is still solid you know I think I'm liking her poise her composure this year she's not crazy yet to celebrate but still she's doing an amazing job and I like I said I pray for all the athletes now if we knew that Usain Bolt as well as Allison Felix were the 
presidents, I would say, when it comes to the longevity as well as Shelley and Fraser, we could look at the new generation like Cindy McLaughlin and Noah Lyles. I believe, and that's just my opinion, these two athletes that you're looking at on your screen right now will be the next world record holders for not only the 400 meters but also if they ever decided to run well Cindy McLaughlin if she ever decided to run the um, 200 as well as well as the well she did say she's gonna open up with the 400 today which I can't wait to cover as well as Noah Lyles has been doing such a phenomenal season and I pray that he could get close to that 1926 or even the world record. So I can't wait to talk about that tonight, guys. Thank you guys so much as Track and Field is ushering on my channel. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.